Good morning, St. Peter's Episcopal Church. Today is Tuesday, August 31st, and our announcements are for the 15th week after Pentecost. Thank you all for your responses to the flower ministries in September. Now, there are opportunities in October on the 10th, 17th, and 31st. There also remain opportunities for coffee hour hosts in September on the 5th, 12th, and 26th. Our food ministry, Launch, serves young people launching into adulthood who are on their own with little or no support. Launch is collecting items for the outdoor pantry that is located at Sheridan High School. This ministry focuses on young people that are experiencing homelessness or housing insecurity. These folks typically get by, by couch surfing. And the type of foods that work best for them are easy to prepare, one container items like trail mix, peanut butter, jerky, cheese, and so on. They may have no kitchen access and perhaps not even a microwave. The diaper bank is doing fantastically. Nancy, Joe, and Lynn are in, are in need of size four and five diapers and wipes this week. Last week was another great week for this ministry. Thank you to all who contribute to this blessing to babies and young families. St. Peter's Women Council will meet Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. And our offices will be closed in observance of Labor Day on Monday, September 6th. Elisa Sauer hosts drop-in prayer for the women of Sheridan on Fridays from 9 a.m. to 10 at the Bot Beautifully Shop uh, located at 117 South Main. Stop in any time within that hour for prayer, and Elisa would be honored to pray with you. The women of St. Peter's need eight-ounce canning jars for jelly to be sold at the Christmas Bazaar. If you have some that you won't be using this fall, please, please bring them to the parish hall. The Outreach Committee, Duann Deers, Tracy Swanson, Pam Standish, Tina Mediate, Carol Clark and Tom Schnatterbeck, along with Father Joel, have refined an application process for reviewing requests. The community is soliciting your thoughts and a prayerful discernment for where to best use God's abundance in the Sheridan area. Choir rehearsal will be Thursday, September 9th at 5.30 p.m. in the Parish Hall basement. A prayer for the sick. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve your sick servants and give your power of healing to those who minister to their needs. That Mary Ellen, Arwen, Ray, Carol, Colleen, Sherry, Melissa, Kyle, Bill, Lisa, Norma Jean, Alice, Jean, Darlene, Kit, Brandon, Christy, George, Tom, Adam, Catherine, Agnes, Amy, Sally, Howie, Rod, Alex, Kim, Nate, Jake, Joey, Mary, Sammy, and Hillary, for whom our prayers are offered, may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We also pray this week for those in the armed forces, particularly thinking about those soldiers who were lost in Afghanistan last week, and all those who lost and paid the supreme sacrifice in the Afghanistan conflict. Almighty God, we commend to you, to your gracious care in keeping all men and women of our armed forces at home and abroad. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations. Give them courage to face the perils which beset them and grant them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. And we pray for those who were lost last week in Afghanistan. Here are the names of the fallen. For the Marine Corps, the deceased are Sergeant Johnny Rosario Picardo, age 25, of Lawrence, Massachusetts. Sergeant Nicole L.G., age 23, of Sacramento, California. Staff Sergeant Darren T. Hoover, 
31 of Salt Lake City, Utah. Corporal Hunter Lopez, age 22 of Indio, California. Corporal Dagan W. Page, age 23 of Omaha, Nebraska. Corporal Umberto A. Sanchez, age 22 of Logansport, Indiana. Lance Corporal David L. Espinoza, age 20, of Rio Bravo, Texas. Lance Corporal Jared M. Schmitz, age 20, of St. Charles, Missouri. Lance Corporal Riley J. McCollum, age 20, of Jackson, Wyoming. Lance Corporal Darren R. Marola, age 20, of Rancho Cucamonga, California. Lance Corporal Kareem M. Nicoy, age 20, of Norco, California. For the Navy, the deceased is Hospitalman Maxton W. Soviak, age 22, of Berlin Heights, Ohio. And for the Army, the deceased is Staff Sergeant Ryan C. Noss, age 23, of Corrington, Tennessee. We're also praying for those dealing with natural disasters in Haiti and Louisiana. For those in Haiti, we pray, therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains be toppled into the depths of the sea, though its waters rage and foam, and though the mountains tremble in its tumult, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. That's Psalm 46. For those in Louisiana, we pray, compassionate God, source of all comfort, we pray for the people whose lives have been devastated by Hurricane Ida. Bring them comfort, we pray. Protect the vulnerable, strengthen the weak, keep at bay the spread of disease. Have mercy on all those working to rebuild and may our response to their suffering be generous and bring you praise. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. And grace and peace to everyone out there. Please stay safe, and we'll see you Sunday. Thank you.